Hello children, how are you? How are you today? I am good, I am well. What about you? Hello kids, welcome to Savita Pod Academy. This is our EVS lecture and today we start our fourth one soil chapter question answers. I hope all you understood better soil chapter. Today we solve all our question answers. Start we Let's remember from circle the odd one out in each of the following here water, nutrition, humans and electricity. You can see electricity is odd man out. So we circle this one. Second one sand, clay, nutrients and pebbles. Nutrients here odd one out. So we circle here. Third one heat, rain, wind and soil. Here this one soil is odd man out all you know evaporation heat rain wind all there but soil is not there so this one odd man out next write t for the true and f for the false statement soil is formed by the breakdown of rocks yes this one true statement soil is not important for the growth of a plant this one false it takes a few years to form a small amount of a soil it's a false because this one take go 10 years kids now we start solve exercise on this chapter soil object to type question first we learn fill in the blanks with the correct words soil provides water and nutrients to the plants soil is a form by the Breakdown of rocks, the color of a soil differs from place to place. Fourth one, the water in the soil turns into vapor. Fifth one, when water is poured over soil kept in a jar, here papers start forming next b number question choose the correct options first one which of these do plants need to grow here all of these means air and water light and soil second one which of these helps rocks to break down here sun heats rain wind means all of these this one d1 option correct option which of these does soil contain humus sand and clay papers all of these this one fourth one which of these is not true about humus it is formed from dead remains of only animals fifth one which of these animals live in a soil our option is B and A, earthworms and beetles and ants and termites. Means our option is D, both A and B. Okay. Sixth one, which of these is the grainy part of soil? Sand. How long does it take to form a small amount of soil? Thousands of years. Okay match the followings column a column b roots fixes plants to the soil soil this one earth form and leaches humus this one dead remains of plants and the animals next very short answer type questions give one word for the following the top layer of the earth where plants grow soil Part of the soil that is made of of dead remains of plants and animals, humus. Crops grow well in this type of soil, fertilized soil. Things added by farmers to make soil fertilized, manure. Write two examples for each of the following. Soil provides these two plants water and nutrients. Kids, next one. Colors of soil 
red and black things that soil contain humus and sand animals that live in soil earthworm and beetles next answer the following questions here first one give two ways in which soil is important for plants i show you on a notebook here without soil plants would have no place to grow okay and second one plants take in water and nutrients from the soil next second one explain how soil is formed from rocks our answer is here soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks the sun's heat okay then the rain and the wind also help in a breaking down of rocks this process last for it's been for thousands of year then soil making okay third one name four things that soil contains soil contains humus okay soil contains humus sand clay pebbles okay these are four contains fourth one what happens when we heat some garden soil in a covered container when garden soil is when garden soil is a heated in a container cover with a lid drops of water are noticed on the inside of the lid this shows that soil contains water the water in the soil forms vapor when heated which touches the lid and then cools down to form droplets of water okay next fifth one give any two uses of soil our uses of soil plants need soil to grow obviously each and every plants need soil is home to many animals like earthworm beetles ants and snails many more insects live inside okay kids i hope all of you enjoyed today's lecture and this one question answer session video is very very useful for solve all question answer which on our chapter number 4 soil thank you kids thank you parents thank you teachers